Hello everybody and welcome back to another episode of Let's Play Metroid Prime 2 Dark Dark Echoes. That's actually the Japanese name. Metroid Prime 2 Echoes. In the last episode we finished up Aegon Waste and now we're back here in the Temple Grounds. I decided to meet you here because there's no point in showing you the backtrack, but I decided to cut back in here because missile expansion. And we're right where we need to be. Umas told us to come meet us, or Umas, whatever you want to say. But he told us to come and meet him, so let's go meet him. So onwards, back to the temple. Music is still awesome. And in this episode, we're going to be heading to one of my favorite areas in the game. Don't know if we'll be getting it in this episode, though, but we will be getting another upgrade that's pretty damn awesome. Alrighty, let's take care of him. Yeah, these things... I don't think these things... No, they were here. Before. Silly steel. Alright, this is an item we couldn't get before because we didn't have bombs. Yeah, screw us, right? So let's morph ball in and let's grab our prize. Missile expansion. Actually worth it, I guess. Missiles are pretty good. They're a pretty good side grade to the pistol. That's backwards, I bet, yeah. Yeah, that's backwards. We don't want to go that way. Steel got discombobulated. Ouch. Yeah, the light enemy respawned just as we were leaving. Alright, we want to scan this so we can move forward. Alright, now we're not going there quite yet. Umas told us to see him, if I'm correct. Let's go talk to him. Why not? I want to see if he has something to say. Besides, this will give Dream Cloud more content to watch. And you guys can answer. Is the 720p making these videos look better than the 480p? Obviously, there's a higher quality, but does it help with the blurriness? Let me know in the comments. Hey, buddy. I thank you for restoring energy to the Temple of Aegon. Your valor honors the Luminoth, those who have passed and those who have remained here under my soup. Jesus Christ. Your valor honors the Luminoth, those who have passed and those who remain here under my protection as they sleep in deep stasis. Be on guard, for the Ing do not suffer defeat lightly. They will surely seek revenge for your actions. With the energy lost from the desert region, they will increase their efforts in other lands. I have detected unusual amounts of ing activity in the Torvis sector. The enemy is on the move. The swamplands of Torvis are treacherous and can hinder you considerably. Bear this in mind as you move through the bog. Seek the Temple of Torvis. More knowledge awaits you there. May the light of Aether serve you well. Yay. So our next objective is clear. I don't think you have to talk to him. Feel free to quote me on that. Feel free to quote me on any information I get wrong, actually. I'm happy to hear. Trust me. Alrighty, boys. I said leafed. I said weast. Actually, I don't know what geological direction we're facing. Alrighty, blast this with the light element. Yeah, we can open those now, and uh... Oh yeah, look at that, it's Bamboo. Do you have a weakness in this game, or are you just existent? Oh, it's a Harmony class drone. How do we hurt it? Oh, can we not hurt it? Oh, we can't with the dark beam. What about the power beam? Oh, you guys got a serious downgrade since fucking Metroid Prime 1. Well, they're not the same thing from the name, but they look and behave exactly the fucking same, so what gives? Maybe it's the Luminoth version of them. 
Samus, we don't know how to make proper things. Or Luminoth. Great technology, but it seems very flawed in comparison to the Chozo shit. Though the Chozo aren't free from this either. It will always forever baffle me why the Varia suit protects from hell itself, but God forbid she steps into a fire. Yeah, we got these jerks spawning out of their shit. Get rid of that nonsense, I don't like it. Yeah, as you can see, we have an obvious half-pipe. You can only imagine what upgrade we'll be getting in the future. That's what I meant with the whole uh, cannon area in the space part base. I didn't mean to say next upgrade, I meant to say in the future. I don't know what the hell I was thinking. Oh, we have a green door in there. Green Dern? What the hell, Steel? We have a green door there we can't open, so we'll head in here to the Dark World. Now, don't really bother exploring the Temple Grounds Dark World version, because... You're gonna need a lot of energy if you decide to go here now. Because this place is very devoid of light beacons. But don't worry about that. For now, let's just head forward. Take massive damage. Yay. Thankfully, we did just get the dark suit, so that will be mitigated. By a decent amount, too. Ah, oh, shit. It's the pretty much carbon copies of enemies from the previous area. We'll just shoot them to shut them up. Mm, something smells really good. I smell food. I just had lunch on the way home, too. Yeah, I came home earlier, but I'm recording the episode later. Alrighty. Oh, yeah, we need to head up this way first before we do anything. Yeah, if you hug next to it, you'll get the light barrier, the light field's effects here. And, yeah, you'll be healed by it. Now, if you need to, stay in that light field for a while and heal up if you have to. Because once we get on that... Oh, oh actually, no, the barrier stays on that. I was sitting there thinking it goes away. Jeez, Steel. Alright, let's uh, activate these so we can... Uh, let me make sure, alright. So we don't... I don't know if it's possible to perma-stuck your way th from all these, but let's not risk that. Steel realized what he's about to do. Steel, you stupid. It was super effective. I'm good at that move. It's my fucking specialty. Alrighty. With all of them active, the platform will turn on sexually. Samus can ride it. Ride it like a cowgirl. I know too much for my age. Well, I know too much for my younger age. And it carried on into adulthood. Yeah, we're locked in position and we're in permanent aiming mode. Just use your regular beam to take out the enemies. You'll be okay. Don't worry about those laser dudes. They can't touch us. Don't worry about your lock-on. Just worry about aiming and shooting. First person segment. Go! Hit the targets! Success! Weird she takes her hand off the visor. Maybe there's some reason for that. <laughs> you guys saw that? I shot the light beam and it entered the cutscene. Alrighty, in we go. Back to the world of delicious light. Yeah, already ten minutes in. Jesus Christ, you guys are getting like nothing out of the episodes. The game is certainly slower paced than its predecessor. That's not a bad thing. It's not too slow paced. Oh yeah, these guys are light creatures. Ah oh, shit. Are you kidding? Fine. Eat a bag of light dick. You want some too, buddy? You hungry? Here, have some chicken. Have some popcorn. It's the popcorn beam. If you charge it, it shoots up popcorn. It's fresh out of the microwave, though, so don't let it touch you. It's hot. Oh, look at you there. It's a grenader. Now he's dead. Was it worth it, sir? Did you learn your lesson? I bet you he didn't. Because he's a bastard like that. Bastards never learn their lesson. We have another green door there. 
veterans will obviously get what that is if you've watched my Metroid shit, or anybody else's for that matter. You'll know exactly what that door is for. If not, you'll have to find out later. Most likely in the next episode. I really doubt this one. We spent it all just going to the damn place. Remember guys, I like to exaggerate for comedy's sake, so... Don't take me too seriously. Obviously when I'm being serious, take me serious, but... For shit like that, no don't. Unless I'm being serious. You should be able to tell by this point, I hope. If not, just ask. And I shall let you know the secrets of my emotions. Alright, let's scan you. I think there's something behind this, a scan. Nope, just... just shit. Just doggy dick shit. Alright, down we go. Damn, I love how fast the elevators are, but that must incur some serious G-forces. I think. Alrighty, now we'll enter this place, but the music won't instantly start. Instead, we'll get a variation of the item room theme without the beep, 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 beep. Just the more ambient sound of it. But once we head through this door, all that changes. Look at all that water. Maybe we'll find Vaporeon here. How many references can Steel make and how many Let's Plays? Find out. These guys are... I think they're Shredders? Let's scan them before they come and explode their shred sacks in our face. Exploding Flying Plant. Durable plant form seeks enemy targets and explodes on contact. Alright. Let's help him out with that. See, Samus is a good person. Just gonna scan that for later use. And here we have a save point. Let's utilize that so we can call it an episode. No, I'm just kidding. Not yet. Now, we can't access either of these two areas quite yet, so there's only one option for us. <gasps> Hold your breath. Because we're going down under, boys. And this time we don't got a gravity suit to help us. Ah, it glitches and shit. Emulation errors. Well, hi there. Jesus Christ. Alrighty, let's move forward very slowly. Go, Samus. I know the water's heavy, but you can do it. Move those legs. You're a Chozo warrior. The game, though, is having a fucking seizure, currently. Alrighty, we made it out of hell. Hey, look at that, a green one, but we can't scan it right now. Yeah, it's obvious. We have to go translate our files. Or update our translator files. Get our Windows update. What the hell? Oh, teleporting enemies I can't damage with missiles. Ah, I just want to move forward. Let Samus out. Ah, <laughs> she's dying. I want to get my bearings, and I can't get them yet. Okay, we aren't going this way. We need to go up to get to that. And I'm not even going to worry about the enemies in here. I'm just going to see what's behind this missile door. Looks like it's the path forward, too. We also have a Dark World portal in here. It'll get us a missile expansion if we ever figure out how to get to the dark world and exit to the light world. Some very obvious shit. Alrighty, let's scan this so we can raise the bridge and open those gates. Yay, the path forward is open to us. We get a sack of muffins. Which is awesome. Just be sure to share one with your local pony. Your local derpy. Whoever your friend, if he likes muffins. But not that asshole down the street. You don't want to share it with him. He doesn't deserve anything. At least not that nice. Alright, light boy. Let us through. We're about to meet a new enemy type here, actually. Speaking of which... Say hi. I know they look like she-goths, 
but and even though they're killed the same way, they're not the same thing. Yeah, they look angry. You know what? We'll scan them. They have special music. Grenchler. Water-based reptilian predator. Well armored and deadly at any range. Its back shell is vulnerable to explosive blasts, however. Ooh, you know what that means. Get behind it and blast its ass a lot with our pointy missiles dicks. Yeah, you like that, don't you, baby? Oh, it makes it sound like it's getting pleasured. Oh, yes. Uh. 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 Yeah, it's not defeated just because you blast away its back. We have to shoot it a little more. Shoot its tender butthole. I wonder if our dark beam would be any more effective here. Getting our asses chomped is certainly pretty effective. Come here. I don't care about damage. Samus is cool like that. Can we not break those? Gas generating platform target creates part of the. I don't think I can break it. It won't break. Break! Damn you. Samus gets no restorative items. She's shit out of luck. But that's how Samus rolls. Being shit out of luck. She likes this. Alright, let's move forward. It back into the dock world. I hope you guys like that concept. We'll be switching a lot. Game has only just begun. This adventure, this quest to save the Luminoth has only just started. Alright, we have a yellow door down there. We ain't doing that for a long time. Alrighty. That bomb slot we passed by can be used here, so let's activate it. Because what it does... Well, simple as it, simple function as any, it just moves the bridge. Because of trans-dimensional activity, it moves the one in the light world too. Yeah, but getting back there means we have to fall down. I wonder if something will happen. You know what? It's going to make us fall. We may as well hit up these things for some power-ups. Because Samus is looking a little damaged. But don't worry, she'll be okay. She's a trooper. Literally. Alright, let's, uh... Oh, watch it there, Steel. You don't want to fall into the purple shit. It's not good for Samus' health. Hey, look at that! Reused Magmore enemy. Works the same way. Also, Steel doesn't know how to platform, apparently. Yeah, I purposely went this way because I wanted to get their delicious treats. Uh, we're looking a lot better on the health front. Let's just head back into the light world. Ah, Dream Cloud, you know what boss is here waiting for us. The one everyone absolutely fucking hates with a passion. At least the first one. There's two bosses everybody hates. And the first one is here. And it's actually the one we're going to fight. Not this episode, though. Ah, shit. You remember the Chozo ghosts? We'll meet their annoying as fuck cousins. Who are those annoying as fuck cousins? Well, I'll show you if I can scan them. I want Sam to stop scanning the plant for him. Okay, let's go over here. And yeah, we have to defeat them because fuck us. Say hello to the Dark Pirate Commando. Darkly possessed elite space pirate. Increased combat ability due to symbiotic presence. Able to phase out of local time space. Weakness, light beam. Strength, annoying as fuck. Sometimes they'll appear and you think you got them, but no. They'll just phase away like, aw, oh, you didn't do shit. Now they will go away after a certain amount of time. And you can use that to your advantage. If need be it. Come on, boy, I know there's one more. Yeah, fuck you. Dickmonger. Yeah, look at that, I saw him move, didn't you? I mean, he's not in our visible space, and I don't want to move from this spot. This is Samus' spot, she's very Sheldon Cooper about it. Yay. Still can't blow this up. And we desperately need ammo. Alrighty, boys. Let's go across that bridge now that the dickheads are gone. 
Bastards, man. Bastards. No one likes them. Alrighty, I think there should be a save point up ahead. Oh, yeah, there's a missile pack. We aren't getting that for a while. So we have to take the scenic route. Watch out for Asshole here. He'll try to tongue you. If he does, it's gonna knock you off. You defeat him by laying down bombs for him to fucking eat. But thankfully, we just got really lucky and avoided him entirely. Because that's how Samus plays the game. Yeah, look at that. <laughs> There's a missile pack, but we can't get it. This makes Samus sad. Alright, with that, the kinetic orb cannon has been restored. And that will allow us to head up there. Yay. Damn it, we're getting something really good, too. Thank you, game. We needed that. Emulator of issues. Well, hello there. Yeah, this place is just full of shit. Maybe I'm using an older version of Dolphin and there's a new one that fixes it. Alright, before moving forward, make sure you bomb out this. Because... Yeah, energy tank. Just right fucking there for the taken. So what a way to be on this next door. Well, find out next time on Let's Play Metroid Prime 2 Echoes, because we're out of time. Not the green door, the dark one above us.